In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up unto a high mountain, Zion. Herald of glad tidings, cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem. Herald of good news, fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm, here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the youth with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. 
Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for her proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay His promise, at some regard delay, but He is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be? Conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to His promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey, and this is what he proclaimed. 
one mightier than I is coming after me. I am not, I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of Saint Padre Pio. Napakinggan po natin sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayong ikalawang linggo ng Adbiento ang tungkol kay San Juan Bautista. Siguro karamihan sa atin ay kilala siya. Narinig na natin ang pangalang San Juan Bautista. Pero sino nga ba si San Juan Bautista? Siya ang anak ni Zacarias at Elizabeth. Siya ay second cousin ng ating Panginoong Hesus. Siya ang naghanda ng daraanan ng Panginoon. Siya ang tinig sa ilang. He is the preacher of repentance. Sabi ni St. Augustine, John the Baptist was the voice preparing the way of the Word. The voice disappears, but the Word remains. Ganito ginampanan ni San Juan Bautista ang kanyang misyon at gayon din ang sinasabi sa atin. Ihanda ninyo ang daraanan ng Panginoon. Tuwirin ninyo ang kanyang mga landas. At anong uring paghahanda ba ang kailangan nating gawin? Sabi ni San Juan Bautista, Pagsisihan ninyo at talikdan ang inyong mga kasalanan at pabinyag kayo upang kayo'y patawarin ng Diyos. Ang binyag na tinutukoy dito ay binyag na tanda ng pagsisisi at pagbabalik loob. Sabi sa, ati, sa aking nabasa, Repentance has two components. One is turning away from sin. The other is going back to God. Ang pagtalikod sa kasalanan at ang pagbabalik loob sa Diyos. Itong dalawang components na ito ay dapat laging magkasama. Hindi pwedeng sabihin na tatalikuran na ang kasalanan pero hindi magbabalik loob sa Diyos. Hindi rin pwedeng sabihin na magbabalik loob sa Diyos pero ayaw talikuran ang buhay ng pagkakasala. To say yes to Jesus is to say no to sin. We cannot adhere to Jesus and sin at the same time. Ibig sabihin, hindi po pwede na ang dalawang components na ito ay magkahiwalay. True repentance can only be attained kung nandyan ang dalawang components. Ano nga ulit yung dalawang components? Yung una, turning away from sin. And second, going back to God. E paano tayo, tata, paano natin tatalikuran ang kasalanan kung hindi natin tanggap na tayo ay nagkakasala? Paano tayo magkakaroon ng pagbabago sa buhay natin kung, ay, kung ang tingin natin sa sarili natin ay perfecto tayo na hindi tayo nagkakamali? We can only turn away from sin when we acknowledge that we are sinners. Pero kung ang tingin natin sa sarili natin ay perfecto at ang tinitingnan lamang natin ay yung pagkakasala ng iba, 
eh paano ka magbabago? Kung ang tinitingnan mo, eh sila nga, ganyan ang ginagawa. At ako magbabago. Di ba? But when you acknowledge that you are a sinner, kapag nakita mo ang iyong karumihan na ikaw ay nagkakamali, na kailangang, may, mayroong kailangang baguhin sa buhay mo, doon lamang magsisimula ang iyong pagbabago, ang pagtalikod sa pagkakasala. Pero kung ayaw mong tanggapin sa sarili mo na may kahinaan ka, na nagkakamali ka, na nagkakasala ka, you can never have the chance to repent. Walang pagkakataon para ikaw ay magbago dahil sa tingin mo, perfecto ka. Kaya dapat makita natin sa harapan ng Diyos na tayo ay may kahinaan na sa buhay natin kung minsan tayo ay may hina at nagkakamali. Mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, sa paghahanda natin sa panahon ng Kapaskuhan, simula natin ang ating pagbabagong buhay at pagbabalik loob. Pagtuunan natin ang pansin ng ating buhay spiritual. Kasi kung minsan, kapag malapit ng Kapaskuhan, ang nagiging focus ng napakaraming tao ay Christmas party. Eh siyempre, yun lang naman talaga magkakaroon ng Christmas party. Ano? Pero huwag natin ubusin ang oras natin doon sa Christmas party, sa mga pagdiriwang, sa mga regalo, sa mga pamasko, kundi pagtuunan din natin yung ating spiritual na buhay. Magkumpisal tayo. Baka mamaya, dekada na, yung huli nating pangungumpisal. Magkawang gawa tayo sa mga taong nangangailangan. Magpatawad tayo sa mga taong nakagawa sa atin ng hindi maganda. Magpakumbaba tayo at tumingi tayo ng kapatawaran sa mga taong ating nasaktan. Ang pagtalikod natin sa kasalanan at pagbabagong buhay ay pag-oo natin sa ating Panginoon. Kapag umoo tayo kay Jesus, dapat nandun yung ating commitment and consistency. Hindi pwedeng oo tayo ngayon kay Jesus, pero bukas, hindi na. It should be yes to God every day. At ito ang tunay na pagbabago ng sarili. Ito ang tunay na paghahanda sa makahulugang pagdiriwang ng Kapaskuhan. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we continue to prepare our hearts to receive the Lord, let us implore the help of His grace, saying, Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. Come, Lord Jesus, and save us. For the whole church, may she be perceived as the herald of good news in a world tormented by aggressiveness, injustice, division, and violence. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus and, and save, save us. us. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishop, and other spiritual leaders, in imitation of John the Baptizer, may they never get tired of calling all mankind to conversion. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and save us. For all humankind, may all come to acknowledge that only in Jesus can they find meaning, reconciliation, and fulfillment. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and save us. 
For all those who find themselves unable to break the fetters of vice, may they put all their trust in God's mercy while doing their best to do what He commands. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and save us. For the victims of human trafficking, may they find hope and inspiration in the life of St. Josephine Bakita, who was also a victim like them, but found healing and new life in Jesus. And may they be freed from their bondage and find emotional, physical, and spiritual healing from their painful experience. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and save, save us. us. For all of us, as Pope Francis has pleaded, may we not look the other way and instead care and do our share in fighting human trafficking and all forms of exploitation and abuse. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and save, save us. us. For all persons with disabilities, may they be at the center of attention in society and that institutions may offer inclusive programs that value their active participation. Let us pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and save us. Lord Jesus, you are the source of our hope and salvation. Free our hearts from every evil impulse and give us the joy of your presence, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For our offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Lord, we gather today in your house to kneel down and pray. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when He comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the sun of 
Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who 
dress for us against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Praise your spirit. You. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh 
second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of Saint Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of the earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio altogether. Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us, that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una sa inyong pagdalo sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. At ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong kaunting oras at pakikisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa paligid ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary, sa Main Church, sa Main Store at iba pang lugar dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Ito po ay bilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ng kalinisan katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng mga simbahan. Magsitayo po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time-team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukalang lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tulara nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Tayo pong lahat, Ama namin, sumasalangit ka. Sambahin ang ngalan mo. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw. At patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, amin. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpas sa walang hanggan, amin. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ng ngalan mo, mapas sa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. 
at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpas sa walang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, May He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Nagpupuri sa mo'y kapal ang buong kalooban Dahil sa kadakilan ang ginawa niyang tanan sa kanyang kapangyarihan